Hi, I'm Dr. Sri Banerjee, core faculty for the College of Health Sciences and Public Policy at Walden University. And in this video, um, I'm going to show you a neat little tool um, that I've actually worked on um, over the last couple days um, known as Overleaf. Um, and using Overleaf, um, what you can do, um, you can actually apply um, something called um, latex word processing. Um, and I'll show you what that is. Um, it might sound like something um, that people are allergic to um, and uh, you know you have to use vinyl but uh, this is not the same latex uh, uh, and it doesn't cause any sort of allergic reactions um, that I know of. Um, but uh, this does have quite a few uh, features which are better than um, your normal uh, word processing sort of capabilities. So first of all, um, looking at the layout of where everything is, um, this is all again cloud-based. So um, this kind of runs similar to a uh, typical program. Um, and by the way, LaTeX is something that is used in um, ArcGIS if you want to program what appears um, within um, some of the pop-out layers um, in ArcGIS. So it's it's good to kind of uh, accustom yourself um, in, in using this and this is actually for um, a journal article that I put together um, with uh, uh, multiple collaborators um, and in this process um, was able to use this. Um, so it some of this actually reminded me of uh, using hypertext markup language HTML formatting. Um, you'll see some of the slashes, for instance, subsection. Um, when you have this, um, then on the right hand side, this corresponds to a new subsection that is uh, then opened up uh, with that title. So um, what Overleaf allows you to do is when you make changes on the left hand side, the corresponding change can be then reflected on the right hand side if you, um, if you press this recompile button. So when you compile code, um, where this comes from is when you compile code, then um, this parsing shows uh, precisely where you have um, problems within the code. and um, where it's actually running correctly. So um, taking a look at how subsections work, um, if you look at various frameworks, um, when you you don't even have to actually select 1.1. You don't have to write this out. Um, when you select subsection, the um, actual latex format code um, keeps track of this. Now there's some um, nuances as, as you're as you're writing this out um, in LaTeX. Um, every time, if you use percentages, every time you have a percent, um, the actual uh, compiler sees that as the start of a co new code. Um, so you have to um, put slash after the percentage. And I'm looking for an example here. Um, so that's why I'm scrolling up and down. Um, but within the text, I had um, examples of percentages where um, this had to be designated um, in a different manner. Um, so these percentages then can be, um, and there's a lot of examples here. So these percentages can be designated in different ways. Um, so there's a afterwards you need a um, slash. Um, there's a lot of other features that um, is beyond the scope of this video. Um, this is just kind of an introductory video, but um, you can kind of see how the captions are created um, in special code here. Um, and I'm going to be sharing this so that you can see exactly how it's done. Um, but there's also um, features where you can write a mathematical formula. Um, if you use logistic regression, um, you'll be using beta. Um, and so beta is written in a specific way. Um, 
here is a beta that hadn't been corrected so I'm gonna go in here and write beta um, and so beta is written like so um, and so this then shows you um, shows up on the right hand side as an actual beta um, if you were to write the actual Roman um, numeral or or Greek letter this would not appear um, so th this is a kind of a difference um, that is not the way um, it is in normal word processing uh, format. Um, so these are the highlights of um, using um, Overleaf to um, provide latex formatted um, documents. Um, and I wanted to show you how stunning some of these visuals appear um, in latex. Uh, some of the alignment is much better um, in LaTeX than in um, other word processing like Microsoft Word. Um, so you can kind of see these graphics as well. So I hope this has given you a um, good overview on how all of this works together. Um, thank you for listening.